and today I am here to do an exciting and huge announcement that I am very, very, very happy to be here to do. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while and today is the day. Today is the day, my friends. I am announcing the Brie Readathon. Basically, yes, I am announcing my own readathon that I will be hosting. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So let me tell you a little bit about what the Brie Readathon is going to be all about. The Brie Readathon is going to be loosely based around the concept of rereading books. So often in the book community online, we feel that we can't reread books that we love or books that we didn't like. We just feel like we don't have the time to reread books and then we always have to read new ones. I am going to be hosting this readathon to encourage everyone to have a positive outlook on rereading because there's so many good things about it. You learn so much more about the story, the plot, the characters. It really helps you to have a different perspective on the story and the book itself and may even change your mind completely the second time you read the book. Now, it won't just be rereads. Um, it will be kind of flexible so that you can do things other than just rereading books because sometimes you need that feeling of something fresh and new amidst all of the rereading that you're doing. But there will always be one every time that is the anti-reread. So it's technically not a reread, but it somehow in some way is technically a reread and sort of but not at the same time if that makes any sense at all and you will see once you hear the challenges for the readathons these readathons are going to be separated between two different kinds of lengths we'll have 24 hour brie readathons and week long brie readathons at least one week long brie readathon per year it would be great if i could pull off doing two hopefully we may be able to do that i'm not sure we may just stick to one, but we'll have 24 hour and week long ones. The first Brie Readathon is going to be a 24 hour Brie Readathon that will occur on the 12th of May. It will start at midnight wherever in the world that you live. It will start at your midnight as soon as the clock strikes midnight for May the 12th. It will go all the way until 11.59 at the end of that day. And because this actually happens to be the day before Mother's Day, what I decided to do was to make it Mother's Day themed. Three different options of ways that you can incorporate mothers or that you can, three different options of challenges that you can choose to follow into the kind of mother Mother's Day themed 24 hour readathon. Option number one is to read a book where one of the main characters is a mom, at least one. Um, the option that I would recommend for this would be something like Big Little Lies. It's an amazing book. If you haven't read it, you should have. <laughs> um, but that's possibly what I'm going to be rereading uh, for this readathon. Option number two is where the main character or one of the main characters becomes a mom. Option number three is to read a book with a mom character that you loved or a mom character that you didn't like. An example of this would be, say you love, um, say in the Mortal Instruments, you either love or you don't like Jocelyn, which is Clary's mom, right? So you could either, you could choose that book because you love her or choose that book because you don't like her. I'm thinking maybe I'll do some Twitter sprints um, as well. And then we will also have the week-long Brie Readathon. A quick moment to talk about our first week-long Brie Readathon, which will occur this summer. The first week-long Brie Readathon is going to go from June the 3rd all the way to June the 9th of this year. Basically, during the week-long re-readathons, we will have a ton of different challenges that will be announced closer to the time once I get all of my bearings down. Um, then I will do a second video talking all about that one. So be sure to check back and that will be linked down below once it has been created, hopefully if I remember to do so. There are other re-readathons that have just recently come out, so it's like at, right when I had this idea a couple months ago, I went to research it and literally like 
literally around the same time other people had the exact same idea that I did so that's why I decided to name mine the Brie readathon because it's hosted by Brie and so that way it can be e easily distinguished from the other re readathons that are out there and also it gives me a little bit of flexibility to not necessarily have it all be rereads um, for the readathon as well, which I do definitely want to make it different in that way and make it where we're focusing on rereads just to make it a little bit different from other readathons that you will find out there and other readathons that you'll participate in and also to help build that positive energy around rereading books. May the 12th of 2018, again, starting at 11.59 or starting at midnight, ending at 11.59. I will see you guys there. Cannot wait to see you guys there, and I hope that you join in. Also, don't feel like you absolutely have to read a book, reread a book that falls into those categories of like a mom character type thing. If that's not your thing, or if that's something that maybe would bother you, you know, I understand. Maybe if you have some sort of issue with related to moms or emotional backstory related to moms. I totally get it. Don't feel like you have to, you know, maybe you read a book where the characters have an issue with their moms and that's how you approach this. Or maybe you read a book that has no mention of the moms or whatever, you know, just go for it. Live your dream. Go for it and do whatever it is that you want to do. <laughs> so, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys at the Brie Readathon when it uh, when it launches. Make sure to follow on Twitter and Snapchat so that you can follow me on my journey, join in reading sprints, all of that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Bear Scouts. <laughs> With just the bare necessities of life. Yeah. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. But get about your worries and your stress. I mean it.